Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Katrina from Katrina's Crochet World. My channel is all about yarn, crocheting, and showing you new stitches and how to make things. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, like, and share me out. There is a join button if you would like to join my amazing family. All my links are in my about page. If you would like to check them out, please do so. Also, if you would like to donate to my channel, I also have three links in my about page where you can donate. So today we're going to do a granny dishcloth. And I am going to be using a 5mm crochet hook and 100% cotton. in this beautiful color now I'm not sure what brand this is um, I want to say it's Burnett Burnett um, a friend of mine gave me two skeins of it so that's what we are going to be making it so I like to use the magic knot or magic circle as I would call it so you have a short end and your long end So what you're going to do is, sorry about the camera, okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to grab your short end with your middle finger and your pointer, and you're going to grab that long yarn, and you're going to wrap it around your two fingers, and then bring this back around, but over, and that's just how I hold it. Then you're going to go grab that yarn pull it through and then grab that yarn and then you're going to chain three one two three and just make sure that short end is pulled out and that chain three counts as your double crochet so you're going to go back into there and do three double crochet chain two four double crochet three times in the ring so you're going to do three double crochets yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two that's one two and three then you're going to chain two one two and then you're going to go back into that circle and do four double crochets yarn over your hook insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two that's one two, three, four, and you're going to do that three times. So you're going to chain two, And go in do another set three double crochets there's one two three and then you're going to chain two and then four double crochets You're going to chain two, 
and do it one more time three double crochets There's one, two, three, and then you're going to chain two, and then back in and four double crochets. One, two, three, four. So you're just going to grab this, pull it tight, but just make sure that's not bulging up on you. Then you're going to chain two, and then you're going to join with a slip stitch at the top of that chain three. So one, two, three, you're going to do a slip stitch. And you're round two, you're going to chain three, counts as a double crochet. Then you're going to do one double crochet in each of the next three double crochets. So yarn over, jump over, do one double crochet. So that's one, two, three. Then in this chain two space, you're going to do two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. So yarn over the hook, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's one, two, and then you're going to chain two and do two more double crochets back into that space. One, two, and then one double in the next four double crochets. So one, two, three, four. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over. Insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We've got two more to go. That's one, two. And then in this chain two space, you're going to do again two double crochets chain two, two double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's one, two, and then we're going to chain two, and then two more double crochets. And you're going to repeat it two more times. And as you can see, it is making the square. So in the next, oh, I didn't, I messed up there. I forgot to do, so I'm going to do an extra. So in the next four double crochets, you're going to do one double crochet in the next four double crochets. So that's one. two, three, four. 
and four. And then we're going to do two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets in that chain two space. Sorry guys, I don't know why my camera is being blurry. There we go. So yarn over in that chain two space, you're going to do two double crochets. chain two and then you're going to go back in there and do two double crochets and then one two three four you're going to do one double crochet in the next four double crochets there's one Two, three, four, and you can see it. Then you're going to go into the corner where that chain two space is and you're going to do two double crochets chain two two double crochets and as you can see it is forming then one double crochet in the next one two, three, four double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's one, two, three, four, And we're in the corner here, so we're going to do two double crochets. Chain two, two double crochets. And then you're going to join with a slip stitch in the top of that chain three. So one, two, and then in the top of that chain three, you're going to do a slip stitch. Now row round three to eight, this is going to be your repeat. You're going to chain three, which counts as your double crochet. Then you're going to do one double crochet in each double crochet to the next chain two space so yarn over insert your hook into the next double crochet pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two it's two three four because that counts as your double crochet so it'd be one two three four five, six, and as, as you keep going around, you, this will grow and the side, the sides and the top and bottom will grow. It'll get bigger. The more you'll be adding, the corners will always be the same, which is two. When you get to your chain two space, you're going to do two double crochets, chain two, 
two double crochets. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And this as well could be used as a hot pad as well. It doesn't have to be a, a dishcloth or a face cloth. It can be used as a hot pad as well. So then in your next one, two, three, four, five, six, seven double crochets, you're going to do one double crochet in each of those double crochets. Here's one. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. And then we'll come and do our corner, which is two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. And then one double crochet all the way across in the top of those double crochets. This yarn is actually really, really gorgeous. I love how it's working up. The colors are just beautiful. You get the dark blue, you got your purples, turquoise, and then the white. Looks beautiful. Okay, so we're coming to our corner again. Two double crochets. Chain two, two double crochets. So if you don't know, double crochet is yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop. You got three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now you're going to do one double crochet all the way across until you get to your second for your um, corner. So at the corner, you do two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. So here, you're going to have one double crochet. Two double crochet, three double crochet, 
and then you're at your chain three so at the top one two three slip stitch and just repeat three all the way to eight so once I get round eight done I will meet you at the end and show you what to do next so just to explain before I go any further you just continue doing your your double crochets in the top of each of those double crochets when you get to your corners you do two double crochet chain two two double crochet one double crochet at the top of all these double crochets and then you get to your corner space that chain two space you're going to do two double crochets chain two two double crochets one double crochet in the top all the way across then your corner double crochet all the way across then your corner and then when you get here you get one two three four five six double crochets and then you slip stitch into the top of the chain three space and then you chain three and then you just continue around and doing that so i will meet you at the end and show you what to do next so i'm at my end here and all you got to do is again you just slip stitch in the top of the chain three space you're going to chain one and then we're just going to make a single crochet single crochet all the way around your entire dishcloth so when you get to the corner so in every single stitch you're going to do you're going to do your single crochet when you get to the corner you're going to put three single crochets in the chain two space and then single crochet all the way across and then when you hit the corner three single crochets and then once you get to the back you're going to join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet and fasten off so i hope you all really enjoyed this tutorial i really like this yarn it's really pretty so if you haven't already please hit that join button hit that um like button really appreciate it so i hope you all have a fantastic night Take care, stay safe, and happy crocheting. Bye, everyone.